So today we're going to be talking about how to get more sales on Redbubble. And let's just say there was a little bit of an explosion in sales. So in Q4, the best products to design for, listen closely guys, are... Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your print on demand stores. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more sales using Redbubble. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with your notifications on so you're not missing out on any future videos. And whilst you're down there, a like rating would be very much appreciated as well. Now today's video is a good one. There's a lot of valuable information that I will be sharing with you guys to get you prepared for q4 and if you don't know what q4 is it's the last quarter of the year the part of the year where people online make the most amount of money now before i get into that i just want to say for anyone that is new to the channel i have a free starter guide that's linked down in the description that will point you in the right direction with the information i used to actually get my first few sales when i started however if you're someone that's looking to make this more into a full-time thing and you're looking to maximize your sales i have a paid printer on demand course that will fast track you to print on demand success and that's also linked down in the description as well so jumping straight into the video how do you get more sales if you're someone that's struggling to get sales that's the main question at the front of your mind now if you watch this video the whole way through you find out for anyone that's watching this for the first time i just want to let you know that this is pretty much a part three of this type of video i've done two parts before this if you want to check them out they'll be linked down in the description so getting straight into this i'm going to start off by talking about products now why are products important now if you've not realized yet on redbubble there's certain products that have a low amount of results in comparison to others let's take stickers for example when you look at stickers you see that there's over 111,000 results when it comes to stickers and if you compare that to kids masks there's only around 31,000. Creating designs or finding trendy designs for kids masks would put you in a position where you have low competition. And for the most part, low competition usually means more sales. Now, the reason I've used that example is just to express the fact that you need to look out for products that have low results. The less results, the less competition, the higher chance you have of actually getting sales. And just to name a few of the products with less competition, you have kids clothing, you have the new backpacks, and you also have magnets. Compared to things like stickers and t-shirts, the competition is a lot lower on those products. You want to be looking to see if you can find designs that might be trendy or that might be very popular with some of the big products like stickers or t-shirts and see if you can then create your own versions to implement into the product I've mentioned for you guys. As we're coming up to Q4, which is the final quarter of the year, people will be getting ready to start getting gifts for Christmas. Black Friday will be coming up later on in the year where people will be looking to spend a lot of money. So if you can have your designs created early on, when people do start searching for the things a couple of months down the line, your designs will be higher up in the searches. And even if you start off not getting that many sales, one month from now, two months from now, your sales will increase like crazy. So please guys, listen closely, do some research and use the products that I've mentioned to try to maximize the amount of sales you get in the fourth quarter. Now, if you've not noticed already, the video is kind of going along the lines of talking about the fourth quarter. Why? Because like I said earlier on in the video, that's where the most money is made in the year. Now, what are the big events that happen in the fourth quarter? Now, there's holidays such as Christmas. For people in America, there's things like Thanksgiving, there's Halloween, there's a bunch of different holidays now with one of the major holidays being christmas one thing that you want to be looking to create for is christmas cards or as they're called on redbubble greetings cards you want to design christmas related designs for greetings cards this is a big one if you've not done it in the past if you're new to redbubble this is something that you want to start doing now you want to find trends that have been popular throughout the year and you want to christmas ties them it's not even a word christmas christmas ties but you want to make them more christmasy you want to find all those past trends make them christmasy and put them on greeting cards because when it comes to christmas people are reflecting at the year that's gone they're looking at previous memes they're looking to get funny christmas cards that are unique that are different to what you get in a shop so if you're looking to increase your sales this year to maximize how many sales 
how much money you can make even you want to be designing greetings cards linked to christmas now when i started redbubble i want you guys to bear in mind it was in december I didn't really have much of this knowledge. I created some basic Christmas related designs to things that were doing well for me. And let's just say there was a little bit of an explosion in sales. And guys, I've spoke about margins in the past, but starting to actually create your Christmas related designs now or your holiday related designs like Halloween designs now will allow you to play around with your margins to see what works best before it gets to the optimal time where people will be buying the most. For example, if you're starting to sell greetings cards, you can start at a lower percentage, maybe 50%, 80% profit margin. And by the time it gets to Christmas or Halloween or whatever, you might even be able to boost it to 100% or 120%. And I say this because this is stuff that I've done myself, that I've had a lot of success with, and it doesn't end there. From previous videos, for example, I made a video covering the top five products on Redbubble, in my opinion, that have made me money and that I personally felt would make you guys money. If you've not watched it, it'll be linked down in the description. And one of you guys actually followed the information in that video and over on the Facebook group, they posted a screenshot of someone buying one of the products that I actually talk about in that video. I'll put the screenshot on the screen now. And as you guys can see right now, they sold 10 cards to one person this is the power of greetings cards now for myself i've done this on many occasions i'll even look to see if i can find some screenshots for you if i can find screenshots for you guys i'll also put them on the screen here untapped market i know me talking about it in this video might bring a few more people into that market but there's only three thousand of us and i'm pretty sure only 20% of you will actually act on the information that I'm giving you. But at the end of the day, I just want to help. I know how it feels to struggle on Redbubble to not get sales. At the end of the day, I just want to pretty much help you guys. And just to finish off guys, I'll mention a couple of other products you want to be designing for. As with the fourth quarter, it's pretty much the period where people get a lot of gifts. So in Q4, the best products to design for listen closely guys are greetings cards mugs kids clothing the, the, the first three are pretty much guaranteed but i'm gonna go out on a limb and throw in two new products in there i have a strong feeling they'll do well the first one is masks people are still needing to have masks and the last one i'm gonna go with is backpacks but nevertheless focus on the first three the last two are just what I feel might do okay. Right, that is it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like as that'd be very much appreciated. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos. If you've made it to this point of the video, one, you're amazing. And second, comment down in the comment section, I'm ready for Q4 because I know you guys are gonna make a lot of money in this fourth quarter. But nevertheless, remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success. <laughs>